A story has been developing recently about a Nigerian rapper named Mobad, who unfortunately passed away on Tuesday under some very suspicious circumstances. No one seems to know exactly how he passed and the police says that the issue is under investigation. How they investigate? I don't know because Mobad was buried two days later. However, there's a rumor circulating that the passing of Mobad may be more sinister than you think. According to the popular blog Gist Lover, Mobad was given a strange substance to drink and that may have led to his passing. Of course, there's no way I can independently verify this information. But for now, that's the only information we have. What we do know is that Mobad was a very troubled individual. There are stories circulating now about how he was depressed you know how he was troubled by the music industry how he was bullied and usually things like this are what bring out the best in a musician <laughs> but in this particular case he was much more sinister than that so for us to start to understand this situation we first have to get into the story of the man himself Mobad. this was a young man that was born and brought up in lagos lived in ikorodu he started out as a carpenter and decided to follow his passion which was music entering into the music industry he started to reap some rewards and this led to him being signed by naramali's malian music in 2019 but unknown to mobad there was so much more going on in that music label hi guys it's obi king once again in the house with another video for you guys today i want to talk about the mysterious passing of mobad a young nigerian rapper that lost his life at the tender age of 27. the rumor circulating now is that the music label that this young man was signed to malian music is actually a front for pushing drugs. In fact, there is currently a petition circulating with over 47,000 signatures asking for Malian music to be banned. Now, the story of Mobad's passing, it goes that, of course, a lot of this is based on rumors and you know, some clips that are seen on the internet. Mobad discovered that the label that was signed to Malian music was not what it seemed, that they were actually involved in some nefarious activities, primarily sale of drugs. So upon the discovering this mobad did not want to get involved in such activities and he tried to get away mobad reached out to gist lover blog and asked them for advice on how best you know to leave the label and the advice they gave him was to write a letter to the music label naramali asking for his release and the story goes that upon submitting this letter to naramali Naramali tore the letter in front of him. Following this rejection from Naramali, Mobad reached out to Gist Lover's blog again, you know, asking them how best he can come out of the situation. They suggested to him that this time he write a letter that you submit to Malian Music and publish the letter on his social media platform as well and he went ahead and did that now according to this lover this was what led to a series of bullying in fact there are multiple videos online showing how mobad was attacked by his own label managers like his own label mates he wanted to leave they didn't want him to leave and they wanted to bully him into submission. A lot of industry people started to dissociate from Mobad. They didn't want to get on the bad side of the label. And this could be what led to a lot of the depression, you know, that was being talked about as regarding his mental state. Also, in addition to this, there was an infamous raid by NDLEA where uh, Mobad, his friends and other label mates were arrested. This was rumored by Gist Lover to be orchestrated by Naira Mali and Malian music, you know, to teach him a lesson. Now, this is where the story starts to take a turn for the worse because the rumor going around now is that while this young man Mobad was in NDLA custody, he was handed a substance to drink or forced to drink this substance which could have been the cause of his untimely demise yeah, no, no. I have many from any man the drug go make him move me here when you go to the talua okay he mean you come move because then that's a big one move here what you call? what light talua go on all those who have been with me me look for you but for fuck what's going on I love you 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 
so this is the video courtesy of um just lovers tiktok you know in the description they say so sad new video surfaces showing mobad seriously crying on hospital bed saying he was forced to drink a white substance and uh, a lot of this uh, not call it evidence is recently emerging more curious about this story is that apparently mobad had written to the police earlier on telling them that his life was being threatened and his life was in danger. Apparently, they did not respond to his petition. If you look through this article on Daily Post, it speaks about it. They are after my life, Mobad's petition to police before his passing surfaces. He says the late singer in a letter dated June 27, 2023, an address to the Assistant Inspector General of Police, Force Criminal Investigation Department Annex Lagos petitioned the force over threat to life, malicious damage of properties valued at the sum of 5 million naira, assault, occasional harm, oppression, and conduct likely to cause breach of peace against Sam Larry, Elele, Obele, and others. He states that he was attacked at a video shoot on June 25, 2023. My men who claim that they worked for Oba Elegushi. According to the petition on 25 June 2023, while having a video shoot with another artist Zlatan Ibile, the above mentioned persons, numbering about 15, led by Sam Larry Elegushi, invaded the premises with dangerous arms and scattered the whole process of the shooting, damaged the equipment I was using for, for it, valued at about 5 million naira started threatening my life. In the process, they became violent and assaulted me. I sustained injuries but narrowly escaped. Here is proof of the letter that he submitted. It was actually acknowledged by the police force. So reactions to Mobad's passing have been coming thick and fast online. Naira Mali paid Twitter influencers to post fake chats between Mobad and his wife insinuating she was cheating so all attention will be directed to her you um okay i can't verify that that would be very sinister thing to do this is just a terrible story all around this is just indicative of our society singer made this said to honor mobad in style i'll be dying my hair white in honor of mobad Apparently, Portable had something to say about the issue. Call them out. God say, use your mouth. Talk what you want. Fight for yourself. You hear say, person won't kill you now. God say, ah, they won't kill me. The person won't kill you. They 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 won't kill Mm. Industry get can cause. If you know be the account cause, they go come out to you. You guys be the account cause. So clear. I think that's that's a good point to end this video on. The music industry is not really what it seems, and you know, of course, they have their interests. When somebody tries to go against the grain, like go against the system, it doesn't turn out well for the person. And that's very, very unfortunate. You know, I don't think it's um, specific to Nigerian music industry alone. Even Hollywood, like even the American music industry, there are similar stories like this. Producers taking advantage of artists and all that is not as fun as the TV would want you to believe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, my name is Obi King and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>